Today, I wanted to quickly share with everyone a new, remarkable black swan proof of the flat earth. This evidence comes from the YouTube channel Heath Carmody. I'll have a link in the description where you can visit his channel and subscribe. Heath has been making these long distance observations for two years now. If the earth were a sphere with a radius of 3,959 miles, as the official model claims, then the distance to the globe horizon would be calculated by taking the square root of the observer's height in feet and multiplying by 1.22. That's the maximum distance to the globe horizon, which could be further reduced by inferior miraging, atmospheric distortion, opacity, wave swells, and other objects. However, the quandary for the globe propagandist is that if they deny this globe mathematical fact, then they deny the globe model itself. With respect to the flat Earth, the black swan refers to any observation of the visible horizon beyond the mathematical globe distance to the horizon. But the black swan is not rare. In fact, if you're patient and depending on weather conditions, you can see the black swan evidence on a near daily basis. Heath Carmody's many observations prove the same. In this case, the observation was conducted at Shelter Bay in British Columbia, Canada. The first observed peninsula was 1.4 miles away. The second observed peninsula was 7.3 miles away. And the landmass beyond was 13.8 miles away. The observer brought his camera down to just 3 inches off the water. Using our simple formula of 1.22 times the square root of the observer's height in feet, we get 0.6 miles distance to the globe geometric horizon. That's the same result found on this website, here, and here. That means the globe horizon would need to be closer than 0.6 miles, and that's less than halfway to the first peninsula. Absolutely no horizon or calm water should be visible beyond that point if the globe were real. Here's Heath's video evidence filmed from just three inches. Now, this is approximately where the globe horizon should be, less than halfway to the first peninsula. If you've ever been out to a lake, ocean, or salt flats with binoculars or a telescope, you must already see the problem. The globe does not match observable reality. It's not even close. Here's the 1.4 mile peninsula. Here's the 7.3 mile peninsula. And this landmass beyond was 13.8 miles away. What's this between the 7.3 mile peninsula and the further landmass? Obviously, the horizon extends all the way to even 13.8 miles. There is no curvature whatsoever, which matches all of the other many observations I have shared on my channel. No curvature at 13.8 miles means no curvature anywhere. And I'll keep sharing these proofs of the flat earth from all around the world until everyone finally gets it. For me, it is still shocking and frightening the immense level of lies we've been indoctrinated with We've been lied to big time about everything. And this is why I fight for the flat earth, because it's not a matter of opinion. It doesn't matter what your politics are or what your faith is. Flat earth is observable. It's testable. It's repeatable. It's actual science that everyone can understand and perform regardless of your background. I believe flat earth is the path to ending our tyranny. And if you feel the same way, Please share these proofs with everyone. Thank you.